Hi, my name is Chris Foreman. I'm the founder and CEO of Marketplace.City. We're a company that helps local governments find, validate, and procure innovative technology solutions. We've launched the COVID re COVID-19 readiness kit, uh, which is part of Marketplace.City's kind of uh, DNA to pull together solutions for the cities we work with. Um, so to, to identify what their peers are doing to address certain challenges. Right now, COVID-19 is a major challenge for cities and how they're preparing and responding to it. And so we are aggregating solutions uh, to those challenges. We match those cities up with those solutions. We identify contracts that other cities or governments have, and then we deliver results in uh, making decisions more informed, lowering the risk of making these investments and then facilitating faster transa uh, transactions. So this COVID-19 um, readiness and response campaign was started a couple weeks back. Um, and as part of that, we've launched a landing page that I'll show in just one minute. Um, that is databasing these solutions for cities, identifying how other cities are using them. Uh, our focus during this campaign is really to identify solutions that have a quick deployment, um, that have flexible opt-in, opt-out packages related to them, um, and then either have some sort of free or even heavily discounted option to onboarding onto the platform. As with really any solution that Marketplace.City looks for, we're trying to identify really What's the value that the solution provides directly to cities, especially in this COVID-19 um, you know, situation that we're in? Identify any existing case studies or existing results of the deployment being, uh, or the technology being deployed. And then identifying what the next steps are, the easiest way to onboard. So I promised I would show our landing page real quick, uh, which I'll bring up. And you can see in our readiness kit that we have uh, a number of, uh, sort of live solutions. So we are recording a series of webinars like the one we're doing today, uh, which we'll publish in the upper right-hand corner over here. And then going down the list of uh, solutions, you'll see that uh, we have them uh, listed here. So it's a quick, uh, brief overview of the solution. Um, and then also goes, we'll link back to their product page. And then if you see a bolded section that says, see an overview at the bottom of the description, that will lead to the webinar that that uh, supplier recorded with us. So Today, we have Adam Simpkin uh, from Autofleet who is joining us. And um, you should be able to see Adam on camera. Um, but uh, Adam is the VP of Business Development for Autofleet. And we're really excited about Autofleet um, because they have a very you know, rapid concept, rapid product that can help cities to utilize um, uh, underutilized assets and vehicles. And also to enable sort of public-private partnerships to allow um, private fleets to be onboarded into a, a public use environment so that um, we can really best utilize all the assets within a community. So Adam, are you there? Can you hear me? Perfectly. Okay, great. So I'm going to make you presenter and let you share your screen out. That's great. All right, let me just bring that up. You're able to see? It's coming. Yep, I can see your screen. Great. So just a quick introduction of uh, who we are. We're a company based in Israel. Our background came from uh, the ride hailing industry. And at Autofleet, we provide a software platform to fleets of vehicles. So that includes rental companies, car sharing operators, public transportation companies. And we help them take advantage of their unused vehicles to launch new business models that complement their core business. And in the face of COVID-19, We've really seen that cities and public service providers and healthcare organizations have the same need to transport people and goods in an efficient way facing the crisis, and that our software could provide a quick and hopefully useful answer to exactly those challenges. And part of the problem that we've been seeing with some of the cities and organizations we've been working with is that existing transportation for uh, healthcare personnel and other essential workers just doesn't meet requirements of social distancing, for example. Public transportation is being cut, large shuttle or van buses can't be used. There's now new needs to transport people or goods. For example, senior citizens who are at risk populations who need to be delivered food or brought to medical checkups. So transportation needs have really become a dynamic problem that cities and other organizations need to solve very quickly. So what we're providing is our full software platform that we call Ride as a Service. It's a turnkey solution that includes all of the essential pieces to get that started. And as Chris mentioned, this can be launched with the existing fleet assets that a city owns. 
maybe um, parking enforcement vehicles or other city fleet vehicles that are currently unused or even through public-private partnerships with rental or car sharing companies that work in the city. Taking advantage of those vehicle assets, we provide the driver app to send all the directions to the driver, the control center for tracking the operation, and even an app for customers or citizens to book those actual orders or deliveries that they need uh, to happen. The platform pools and optimizes those orders uh, to assign them and automatically dispatch them to the available supply and therefore can really take any transportation or delivery need and get it running in a more efficient way in just a few days. The platform's been working uh, already globally. We're active in uh, over seven countries. We work with pretty large mobility operators like rental companies, Avis Budget Group, car sharing operators like Zipcar. And we're really interested in being able to support the public service operators at the moment. Uh, in, in facing this crisis. And that's why our commitment to make that possible is to provide the platform at no cost. Um, and while the while uh, public operators are facing this crisis, in order to keep essential services running, and uh, we've had our team working around the clock for the past few weeks to make that a reality. And so we're really looking forward to find any such uh, players that we could help uh, during this time. Excellent. Uh, thank you very much, Adam. And that is an amazing service to be able to offer up to uh, the cities to be able to deploy and utilize your service in uh, such little time. Um, but really, right now, what cities need is, is a solution to help rapidly uh, scale and respond and um, and then be able to use these, these assets that uh, might be sitting empty or people just aren't exactly sure how they can put them to use. Um, and th this gives them a way to be able to do that. So thanks a lot for, uh, for, pre for presenting. Uh, that's Autofleet. You can find them on marketplace.city. And as we wrap up, I want to share that um, you can register on marketplace.city um, by going to the homepage and then uh, to log on. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact us at hello at marketplace.city. And certainly any questions um, or want to be connected to Autofleet. Um, and then also we have the landing page that is, is accessible from our homepage of marketplace.city uh, slash cities slash COVID-19. And then we are also offering product pages to suppliers who have innovative solutions, free, one product page free for one year to publish your solution onto Marketplace. Uh, and you, using the promo code COVID-19, all caps, no spaces. Now. Uh, lastly, please follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn and then subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll find this webinar and others uh, and be able to uh, find and share these solutions with your peers across the cities. So thanks again, Adam, for presenting today. Thank you to Autofleet for supplying your solution. Um, good luck and good health to everyone. Thank you.